Hey, Pin Dude here for my vintage pinball. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about cleaning your pinball wiring harnesses. Specifically, cleaning them in your dishwasher. Now, this is a concept that I first learned about probably going back to the early to mid 2000s in Clay's This Old Pinball videos. Uh, he was washing coin doors and wiring harnesses in his dishwasher, and it was a concept that I didn't quite think was a great idea. Electricity, dishwasher, full of water. Uh, so it's actually something I didn't do. I was actually washing wiring harnesses by hand uh, for years and years and years. Um, and actually on this project that I'm currently working on, which is roller games, it's the first time I've used the dishwasher method to clean my wiring harnesses. And I'm blown away by how good it works. Uh, if you are currently hand washing your wiring harnesses, I would highly consider doing the dishwasher method it just does a fantastic job of cleaning your wiring harnesses so i'm going to go through how i do it and uh and how they look when they come out of the dishwasher and some steps that you should take to make sure you get all the water out of you know the connectors and everything after you take it out of the wiring harness and uh make sure those wiring harnesses are nice and dry before you try to reuse them so uh, once again, this is how to clean your wiring harnesses in your dishwasher. Let's get started. All right, so what I have here is uh, all the wiring harnesses from the inside of the head. Uh, on this is uh, particular a William System 11C game I'm working on. It's roller games, but this applies to any wiring harnesses. Um, so I have them laid out on a towel here. And obviously, there's certain things you're not going to want to put through your dishwasher. Uh, on this particular game, I have a big capacitor, I have a bridge rectifier, and a fuse holder. Um, those items I do not want to go through the dishwasher. Really, all you want to go through is the actual wire, all the connectors, um, and that's about it. So, since I'm going to have to disassemble things, I have a pen and a pad. I'm going to write down where these terminals go before I disassemble stuff. And I also have my digital camera, which I'll be using to take pictures of these uh, components before I take them apart. I always want to document as much as I can when I'm disassembling and stuff, so this way I'm not second guessing myself when I go to put it back together. Now I also have some other wiring harnesses that I'm going to be doing here, um, and I'll go through that after I get this done. So on this particular game, these wiring harnesses are really dirty. This this whole game was far dirtier um, than any other game that I've brought home for some reason. And the the color, the wire colors are very dirty. Like all the whites are not white. You know, they're uh, they're just like grayish color. The connectors are yellowed and quite dirty. So to do this by hand, which is what I used to do, is it really required clipping a lot of these zip ties off to separate the wires so that you could get in here with a bottle brush and uh, a toothbrush to get this all clean using Mean Green. Um, and it works pretty good, but uh, not nearly as good as the dishwasher. So I'm going to uh, document my wiring connections here and get this capacitor and fuse holder and bridge rectifier off this one connector here. All right, so anytime you remove a bridge rectifier, you want to really take note of the positions of these connectors. Uh, you'll see on the sides, uh, it's labeled. There will be a positive on that side and a negative here. And also one of the terminals, one of the terminals is oriented differently than the other ones. So when I uh, wrote down, so I, I made a little diagram of the wiring and how the, everything is oriented before I take it apart. Uh, you do not want to accidentally plug a bridge rectifier in the wrong way and then power up the game. Uh, you will definitely have smoke and 
God knows what else. So make sure you make good notes, take good pictures uh, before you disconnect any wiring on these wiring harnesses. The other thing on these bridge rectifiers is a lot of time these spade connectors will be soldered on um, as they are on this bridge rectifier. So you'll need to heat these up to uh, melt the solder to get these off. Um, it's up to you if you don't want to get involved. Maybe this little section of wire and harness uh, you don't want to put through the dishwasher and just do by hand. Um, you know, that's completely up to you. Um, I just want to get the wire and harnesses as clean as I possibly can because if you see my fingers here, I have quite a bit of black on my fingers just from, just from touching this one little wire and harness. Um, so that's why I'm going through all this effort. And I, I think it's effort that's uh, well worth doing. Uh, if you're doing a full restoration on a game. All right, so these soldered on spade connectors on the uh, bridge rectifiers can be a real pain in the neck. So what I do is I add fresh solder. Make sure you have a pair of pliers nearby. I add some fresh solder and try to get the solder to flow and get my pliers ready. Trying to heat this up to get it to move. And then you'll get it off. So add some fresh solder. Try to get that solder to flow. I'm wiggling the connector till I feel it start to move. Ah, there we go. So kind of annoying, but I got it off. And uh, once you go to put these back on, you'll stick it back on and then reflow the solder to solder it back on. <clears throat> All right, so now I have my wire and harness depopulated from the electrical parts that I don't want to go through the dishwasher. Another thing to note here is if you're doing a play field wire and harness and it's a uh, 8990 game, uh, that has micro switches for your rollover switches. I would not recommend putting the roll uh, the micro switches through the dishwasher. I've heard both sides of this. One was uh, putting the micro switches through will be fine. The other is since you can't really open them up and get all the water out, that they were fine. But then down the road they got some corrosion on the contacts and they were a problem. So if you have micro switches, I would highly recommend. Uh, desoldering those micro switches and not putting them through the dishwasher. There's no advantage to putting them through the dishwasher. Um, there's no components on that micro switch that's going to benefit the cleaning from the dishwasher. So I would just remove them. Document the wiring before you desolder them. Take pictures and just get those micro switches off. You can gently clean them uh, with a brush um, afterwards. Now leaf switches Leaf switches come out phenomenal in the dishwasher. Um, leaf switches, especially on older games, are always um, tarnished and, uh, you know, they have a lot of dirt on them. When they come out of the dishwasher, they look like brand new. And there's no downside um, that will happen as long as you, you know, uh, dry them out properly before you put them back in. So the only thing I have left on this wire and harness is I have these um, tags that are from the factory. This one says main display. Uh, Logic GI power harness, main switch lamp, uh, and these are held on with string, so I'm just going to cut these off. I will save them in case uh, I want to put them back on later. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, although they are original, I, I don't particularly like the way they look, but that's completely up to you. But obviously you don't want to put these through the dishwasher since they're just uh, thin uh, paper and they will get destroyed. All right, so I have one more harness here that I want to grab to put in the dishwasher. And this is the, uh, dis the harness on the back of the insert panel. Um, and just like some of the other harnesses, uh, I need to desolder this from some of these light bulbs and unplug it from the, the uh, relay here. So just like before, I'm gonna document, I'm gonna take pictures of this so I know where everything goes. I'm gonna make a diagram for where all the wire colors go so that when I go to put this back together, um, I know where everything goes. I also have a, uh, on this particular cable, I have a, a burnt GI connector that I need to replace, uh, but we'll do that later. All right, so we got our wire and harness all 
set to be cleaned. Just have everything that we want to go through the dishwasher on the harnesses. And this is the before of the dirty harnesses. And we'll get a close up of these connectors that are awfully dirty and these wire colors. And we'll compare that to how it looks when we get done. All right, so this step is probably optional, um, but because of how gross these harnesses are and I want you know, the cleanest harnesses that I can get since I'm doing a full restore on this game, I'm gonna pre-soak these harnesses with some Mean Green and do some light scrubbing. I know the whole point of this is so I don't have to uh, hand wash these harnesses, but you know, I, I wanna get these, you know, as clean as I can possibly get them. I mean, you can just see the, the gross black dripping off these harnesses. <clears throat> All right, so the, the other thing you're going to need is some way to uh, blow out the water from the connectors and uh, stuff when you get these parts out of the dishwasher as they're going to be pretty wet. Um, I guess you could just air dry them, but I would highly suggest uh, blowing as much water off as you can, and then we'll hang them up and let them air dry. But uh, So for me, I have this uh, Craftsman... I have this Craftsman 30 gallon, five horsepower compressor that I'll be using. And then just one of these cheap uh, blow guns that plugs into my airline here. And I'll be using this to blow out as much water off the connectors and harnesses as I can. All right, so let's get this into the house and put this in the dishwasher and let the dishwasher do all the cleaning for us. All right, we made it into the kitchen. We're at the dishwasher. And uh, one thing to note, you probably want to do this when your wife, girlfriend, or significant other is not in the house. Then dude, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. All right, so first, uh, well, we'll change this to dirty. And you want to make sure you don't have any dishes in your dishwasher. You don't want to be doing these wiring harnesses with your fine china. We're going to be using the top rack. And the most important thing to note is to make sure that the wiring harnesses aren't hanging below the rack uh, as they'll hit this spinner here. And uh, I don't know what will happen, but it probably won't be good. So we'll just get these in here. Neatness doesn't really count. All right, we got them all in there, and uh, again, the most important thing is to make sure that nothing's hanging down below the racks here where they're going to hit this spinner. And then uh, a couple of these little harnesses we'll just uh, throw in here, because why not? And then we're just going to be using your regular dish detergent, whatever you use to do your dishes. Load that up. And now for uh, the mode of your dishwasher, you want to use whatever the most aggressive is. Some uh, will say uh, pots and pans. Uh, mine here just says heavy. And turn it on and walk away. Uh, and that's it for now. All right, so the dishwasher cycle is done. We'll open it up and see what we got. Also, I've read on some of the posts about doing this. Uh, some people have concern with the dishwasher soap leaving residue inside the connectors. Uh, if you are concerned about that, just run another full cycle, but this time don't put any soap in, um, and that'll help alleviate that if you're concerned about that. Uh, in my case, I've done this before just with the one cycle, and I make sure I blow out the connectors really good, and I, I haven't had a problem. All right, so let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so everything looks pretty good. Everything stayed on the rack. Nothing ended up falling below. And it looks pretty clean. So let's gather this all up and take it to the garage. 
All right, so I just pulled everything out of the dishwasher and threw it in this towel here. So let's uh, lay it out on the table and the towel here so we can start blow drying these. Kind of kind of get them separated here since uh, these are a bunch of uh, separate harnesses. And they're actually pretty dry. I, I did leave the heat cycle on uh, just like I would my dishes. These were on the top rack. So there's no fear of uh, the wires falling through if like if you're on the bottom rack, um, the wires falling through and hitting the heater coil on the bottom of the dishwasher. There was no worry of that. So there was no reason not to use the heat cycle. So to the touch, they feel perfectly dry. But inside the connectors, I'm sure, you know, if I blow on them, a little bit of water will come out. So we just want to get these as dry as we can at the moment. So any residual uh, water's not laying in those connectors for a long period of time. All right, now I'm going to grab my blow gun over here. And to start, I'm just going to go right into the connector on both sides and really get these blown out just like that. I'm also going to go over the wire itself uh, to get that all cleaned out. So uh, let's get started. All right, so we got uh, all the connectors and wires blown off with the blow gun and got them as dry as I'm gonna get them at this point. And they look real nice. You know, you can see the, the white wires. The white wires are nice and crisp white now. The connectors are much whiter than they were. The connector pins are <clears throat> the connector pins are nice and shiny now. Whereas before they were all dull and and almost blackish in color. So that worked out really well. So now what we're gonna do is we wanna hang these up to finish dry. Uh, so that's the last step that we need to do. And how I'm going to go about that is I'm just going to use my pegboard here. And we're going to hang them from the pegboard and let them dry for a couple days. So it's going to take the wiring harness and uh, kind of find a way to hang it. And we'll just leave it like that for a couple days to make sure they're nice and dry. All right, so this was a pinball restoration tip on cleaning your wiring harnesses in the dishwasher. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from the video. Uh, please leave any comments you have below or any suggestions you have. Uh, maybe something that I could be doing better. I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button on my channel. Feel free to share the channel, and that'll do it for this episode. This is Pin Dude from My Vintage Pinball. Thanks for watching, and see you later.